Hi everybody. We're going to talk very quickly right now about how to use the alarm complications that we have set up in some of our red line timepieces. It's a very simple operation, but if we don't show you, you may not know. A lot of people find having an alarm on their wristwatch to be a very useful complication in their everyday life. One thing that we always stress is don't rely on an alarm on any watch to actually wake you up from a dead sleep because, well, that might be met with tragic results. Instead, think of your alarm as a reminder for things that you're doing throughout the day. Maybe the kids are getting out of school early tomorrow, they're not catching the bus, and you've got to go pick them up. This is a great way to remind yourself with a quick little beep, beep, beep. Think about what you have to do and go on from there. Now, it's very simple to set. You'll notice down here at the 6 o'clock subdial, you've got what looks like an additional clock in some ways. And that's actually going to be an hour and minute hand configuration. A lot of alarm watches will only let you set to the hour, so there'll be one hand. Some watches will let you set with two hands, but only down to the half hour. With our red lines, you can actually set down to the minute. And all you need to do is simply pull the crown one single click, and you'll feel that detent pop, and use the only pusher provided to you on the case. And the longer you hold down the pusher, the faster those hands are going to spin around. So if you want to get past time very quickly, let's say I want to get to around the 9 o'clock hour, I can do that very quickly, and then I can bump it by the minute, and now I've got it set directly to 9 o'clock. If I want a reminder at 9.05 tonight, that's all I've got to do. Now one thing to keep in mind, this does not work on a 24-hour format. It works just like your hour and minute hands do on a 12-hour format. So when you're setting the time, that means the next time these hands reach 9 o'clock, whether it be a.m. or p.m., that's when it's going to set off the alarm. So if you want to make sure that it's for 9 a.m. and you're setting it before 9 p.m. that night, remember, it's going to go off at 9 p.m. that night and then again at 9 a.m. Now, as always, we would suggest that you please read your owner's manual because everything I just detailed to you will be inside of there, but if for some reason you've misplaced it, now you've got a video to show you how.